Well, hello, everybody. And it's great to have you listening to us today. I have some great guests in the studio with me in the the world-class Leland Worley studio is where we're at. And I have with me Jane Rice Williams and Don White Harlan County Kids in the house. Harlan City. Oh, you're Harlan City. Oh, that's right. And there is a difference. Oh, yeah. Don, I met you the other day. It was a delight to meet you at, at the kitchen and just have lunch with you. And Jane, I've been knowing Jane a couple of years now and and going to some of the Parkinson's in Motion uh, seminars, whatever she puts on, and I love it. And I love what you're doing. Jane, greet the people and tell us a little about, bit about Don and what's going on. Well, we got together not too long ago, and Don's been teaching children – and and some adults but helping people with test scores and helping them when they have a problem in math um but these this learning that we'll let him explain to you it kind of clears things up i started working with him spent about two weeks and i started thinking different i start it started sharpening everything i was doing it started i had to I'm going to Barcelona to speak to the World Congress on Parkinson's this summer. You lucky girl. And I had to I That's had to crazy. submit an abstract. Okay. So when I started working on that abstract, it just never was making sense. And after a couple of days with Dawn, I woke up the Sunday morning that it was due and rewrote the whole thing and just it, it was in such good form and it was okay. because we'd been turning math into language. Right. Don, you are an interesting chap. Everywhere I go now, I'll run into people that know Don White, and they know you're a mathematician, but you do it differently. We're talking about clear math. Yeah, yes. Uh, wh- what it is, it, what I do is, is try to um, inspire thought yeah. or provoke thought. For, for example, let, let me. we're in the month of March now, so... March the 14th, it's called Pi Day. Okay. And a lot of my students have come up. And P-I? I, P, yeah, not P-I-E, but P-I. Because every day's Pi Day. <laughs> yeah, me. right. <laughs> me too. Uh, so so when they greet Mr. White and say, Happy Pi Day, of course, they're inviting me to provoke thought mm-hmm. and wrinkle the brow. Because mm-hmm. my next question, I said, what is Pi? But... Most people answer that 3.14. I said, no, you're not hearing my question correctly. Mm -hmm. Uh, 3.14 is the approximate value of pi. Okay. So Jane and I was talking about this the other day. How how do you see pi now? And and I bet it changed Jane's way of seeing pi. It's the quotient of the (coughs) circumference of a circle to the diameter. Jane's one of your graduate students. I'm just like a <laughs> freshman, just barely. I'm, I'm so wet behind the ears. I attended your first of my uh, classes, Clear Math, on Monday night. And you talk about out to lunch. I was like, what? But it got clearer as you went on and you explained. Uh, Don... I love the part about language, and I love the part about how key that learning the language is. Oh, oh, oh yes. Uh, see, that's a perception. Mm-hmm. See, you, you really can't say math is a language because you can't, you can't tell me any nation or any island where they, that math is our native mm-hmm. language. Mm-hmm. But it's, it's, a, it's the perception of how the math is built you know we we learn in in our english language we learn the abcs first so so when when we learn the abcs excuse me when when we learn the abcs we put together words right well we're doing the same thing in math we we learn the digits first okay zero through nine then when we put them in certain order we form numbers so so when you so th- th- this is a perception, and, and, and this is what I really use in teaching concepts are perceptions. And I, I, I've been writing on this and studying this for years. How, how do I communicate this where the layperson can understand mm-hmm. where I'm coming from? Let's build a little backdrop. Go ahead, Jane. 
Well, I was going to say, anybody that's listening to Don right now mm-hmm. talk, they're yeah. going to think, wow, this is mad. This Don is over my head. is smart. He is very oh, smart. Oh, no. Yeah, you are Don. <laughs> He's smart. But boy, he can he can his he has a gift of getting where yeah. you are, mm-hmm. and and I went from one day doing the very first part of what he does to yesterday, we drew he, he picked up a cylinder and I looked at it and I thought, not only do I know the formula for a cylinder, I don't think about the formula, mm-hmm. I think about how that cylinder shaped. And I know what to do mathematically to find the volume. See, see, it's like stacking pancakes. Yeah. See, see you find the area w- within the base, okay. and then you multiply it to the height. It's like stacking pancakes. So, so you're building a perception yeah. so you can understand instead of just memorizing the formula and spitting back the, the answer th- by plugging in values in the formula. See, it, goes, it gives you more in-depth understanding. Don, let's rewind. How in the world did you get in on this clear math thing? Where, when did this all start happening? I, I, I guess it happened when I realized I was a slow learner. <laughs> now <laughs> you're talking. <laughs> yeah. That's what I like to hear. Yeah. Because uh, that's what I <laughs> Because I, I, I probably empathize with kids because mm-hmm. I remember, hey, I didn't learn this stuff quickly. I didn't learn it overnight, uh-huh. but I, I, uh, I, so I had to see it different ways. Yes. But a lot of times, slow doesn't mean poor. No. And, and, and that's what we got to realize, so, that sometimes kids learn slowly, but sometimes they're the best learners. Mm-hmm. And yeah. So and, and that kind of applies to me. So it started back, let's go back, did you teach math? Like where you're from, uh, like where you grew up, and all that. And how, how'd this get yeah, going? Yeah, I, I, th- I think I intuitively taught this way all my life. Okay, but I didn't have it formally defined like I have now. See, the word percepts just didn't creep in until I kept talking about this and kept kind to uh, to define who I am and what I do. Mm-hmm. Then I said, well, everything we learn is through our God-given senses. Mm-hmm. How we see right. here, so I, I, I'm really a show and tell person. When you come yeah, and we, you talk, are that. We, we, when we, when we talk math, I'm going to show and tell you a lot, mm-hmm. and so Did, I, I think that's really important. You start, you taught at Corbin, right? Yeah, I, and I taught at Harlan Independent School. Harlan yeah. Independent, and then Corbin. Yeah, yes. And then from Corbin, when you retired, you were probably already tutoring some when you were teaching, weren't you? Yes, I, I was. I've always tutored. And then when then when you retired, you started working more and more with kids who c- were working uh-huh. on the ACT or right. adults. Adults who, are trying to pass the practice exam to get mm-hmm. certified, and uh, so it's just uh, uh, the uh, the GRE kids that uh, mm-hmm. kids that are they're going to graduate school. Yeah. So they they can't pass this test because they can't pass the math. And then they come after a couple of weeks of working with Dawn, they take the test again, and not only is her high score math, but they come up in everything else yeah. and pass. Yeah. I mean, that's... Do you think that's why that... And I've got some grandkids that are off the charts in math, and but their, their science is high. They're high in math and science. And um, I'm just wondering if it affects those key areas oh. you got to have math if you're going to do something you know yeah, yeah math uh really science is application of mathematics okay that, that's all, all right. it is and so you, they they are tied together in that way right so important but then you i was i was just thinking when when jane mentioned you tutoring that's where you kind of shine because the other night we there weren't that many of us and some of them had already heard what Don went over, but he kind of reviewed to my for my benefit, and I was able to get on board. But I felt like he was tutoring me <laughs> well, while he was standing up there. Well, and let me say what we were doing the other night was at, with our Parkinson's group, Parkinson's in right. Motion. Okay. We decided to put together a four-week class, and the library has hosted that. So every Monday night for the for the month of February, we've had to miss one. So this coming Monday night is our last night. But we wanted to see how many adults would be mm-hmm. interested. 
we're we're really looking into seeing what this does mm-hmm. for the aging population okay. and putting together a whole program to try to help cognition in the aging yeah. and they you tell them well it's through math scares them to oh, death yeah, there r- runs them off right. but it's it's when you when you sit down with it you realize what's the first thing you did you took two numbers and yeah. a symbol mm-hmm. and made a sentence out right. of it and learned how to say it yes uh, learned how the to language. describe what i was doing which i had to learn my abcs a little bit right there the other night and but i really enjoyed it because i talked about math a certain way all my life uh-huh. and here i am 68 years old and now i'm able to describe it in a correct manner and things started kind of falling into place and then you can build on that you know? right you build on that in a way that you can't build when you're just i remember taking college algebra yeah and Me too. I, to take the exam i memorized all these yeah. different problems mm-hmm. so that when the test came along i could plug numbers in as multiple right. choice right. so i did fine yeah but i didn't learn a thing no i i agree i had a russian <laughs> tutor i was overseas doing mission work in belarus and i had a, a college algebra class required over and here i am trying to do this thing online or whatever you call it you know by correspondence and i just got a russian tutor to come in and i made an a but it was that tutoring that took me through it but i couldn't tell you what lord i i just took the test and thank god i did okay but this thing clear math is so amazing because no i don't know if we can talk about that where this thing is gone because it's it's kind of worldwide or potentially going to be worldwide um you know, Carnegie Mellon and all this kind of th- stuff. Yeah. Uh, see, I, I became really aware of efficiency. Right. See, just like at the library, I only have one hour. So I, I keep rehearsing in my brain, how do I pack, put more punch mm-hmm. in that t- time frame? And so this is probably what I've gotten good at because in tutoring kids, I only yeah. have – a limited amount of so time. So much time, yeah. Yeah, I only have one hour, mainly one hour a week. Right. And so so I've got to be able to cover probably more in that one yeah. hour than the schools cover yeah. in I don't know five, how you did days. that the other night. It was, I was like, I was thinking he was going to go one hour. I was like, there's no way he well, can. Well, see, see it's, it's not a linear format. See, when I start, it's like a, st- a spider web. Mm-hmm. So when I, when I start with a focus, it's it's no telling where it goes and, and that's the fun i have in doing it because mm-hmm. I, I never have a lesson prepared in advance for a kid because mm-hmm. the key word here is need there you go see just like when i work with jane i want to find out what she doesn't understand there's a lot <laughs> so so there's a lot with all of us so that that's that's kind of what, where i go with this and that's where it's it's, it's really it becomes a, an, an adventure can we talk about, I mean, this is something you've done for a while, but then folks got interested in it from up north. And uh, I went to school near Pittsburgh for three years, and I we went down to Carnegie Mellon, Mel- and they had a great library there at the university. So we were able to use their, their library, which was a massive library. But these are uh, – these are talented people. Can we talk about that, or is that something we need, don't need to? Yeah, uh, I don't know exactly. They got interested. Yeah, is they, what they, they're interested in at least my name. I know. <laughs> so, well, yeah. the the whole idea of clear math, you know, the the whole. Yeah, yeah. We don't know what they know. We don't know what they understand because we know they know what the name well, is. Well, Don can show them. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. We, we we still have strong ties together. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, it's just amazing because I do think it it's got. Um, potential to really go out and, and what and yeah, revolutionize yeah, and revolutionize things and yeah. I'm, I'm I'm sure that's your wi- hope and wish you a- know for a- it absolutely yeah and with our with our program you know our our um, mission statement is um, moving uh-huh. for change reforming body mind and community. Uh-huh. And the mind part, when I put that in that mission statement, I was thinking about people's minds and interacting right. and the importance of your social and all of that. But 
when this piece came in mm-hmm. with cognition being such an issue, that's when we started thinking we've got to tie this program into right. what we do. Mm-hmm. So that's why Don and I have worked so hard together for the yeah. last few weeks, just seeing where we can go with it. So on April 29th, Okay. We have our uh, we're having our first fundraiser for our Parkinson's um, for Parkinson's in Motion. It will be a 5K run walk for all is what it's called. It's at the farmers market. Starts there, goes over to Veterans Park. We have a one mile spot where if you want to walk two miles, you can go out there and turn around. <laughs> we also will have have activity that a children could be involved or someone in a wheelchair anybody Mm -hmm. will be able to participate in this but we will have different people with booze don and i will have a setup there where people can come talk to him um we've got a lady from the park from the fox foundation with the parkinson's progressive markers initiative that will be explaining that Mm -hmm. barbara bailey will be there with us uh, work in the crowd and we'll probably have some local celebrities that okay. we'll be able to talk to that day april 29th and that starts at the farmer's market goes out to veterans park which my wife wife walks at every day thanks to Mackie. starting at eris thanks to Mackie. <laughs> thanks to Mackie. um that's the thing that grabbed me about it was i knew jane your work with parkinson's in motion and the whole name the motion part is what always gets me it's like we've got to we've got to be in motion and then here you are this this clear math is getting the brain in mo- which is critical it's in motion it's not enough just to walk or to to be moving right. which is so important and, and right. have good nutrition New, good nutrition this, right this is just the other piece that you needed to make your program more holistic that's exactly yeah. right yeah. so this gets the brain going and uh, I could feel that. I can just give you a personal testimony that on Monday night, I felt um, things clicking upstairs here. And, you know, I go through my regular routine day and do my thing. And, you know, I'm in broadcasting and all that. But to go out there and think, well, this has been a long time since I've done math. And I'm doing math right now. Right. I, I'm an old man doing math. Right. And then I thought, there's an older guy doing math teaching me how to do it. I thought, man, there's hope for the world. You know, when I was sitting up well, there. Did you think you got some side benefits? From, oh, yeah. Yeah. See, that's the thing. See, when I have parents to come back and say, Mr. White, whatever you're doing, I, I, we brought my, we brought our child to you to, to get math tutoring. Right. Or math enrichment. And and what has happened, uh, the my, my child is reading better now, mm-hmm. doing better in social studies. Uh-huh. I said, well... I, I really probably what I do more than anything is teach te- thinking skills. Yeah, I'm, I'm using math as the medium, but I'm really right. teaching thinking skills. Mm-hmm. And see, I think this is what Jane has experienced mm-hmm. that it, it's made her look at things a little differently. Uh-huh. Yeah, and, and, and it, there, there's just a ripple effect from this. And so, so if this is what it is, I've got to get better every day. See, I haven't done my best lesson yet. Okay. I, I, I'm still working on my best lesson. All right. So uh, you did pretty good the other night. Well, hey, listen, everybody, you're listening to Frankly Speaking, and I'm your host Marty Huff. In the studio, I have Jane Rice Williams, great friend of mine, and Don White, a new friend of mine. And Don is a he's a mathematician. I don't know what else to call you, Don. You're you, I, I, I'm you're a, a clear I, mathematician. Yeah, I'm a teacher. You are a teacher. I want to talk about, and I think this is going to pique a lot of interest right now. Your mother. And just that whole story of, of how long she lived and how long you guys did things that kind of kept her sharp. Talk about your mom for a minute. Well, I kept my mom at home. You know, she lived to be almost 103. Yeah. And um, and, and I kept her engaged. Yeah. You know, I, I would I would talk to her. As much as I could through the day, I, I would ask questions like, "What, what did we have for lunch yesterday?" Mm-hmm. To, just to get the movement of brain, you know. Instead of, and, and uh, I, the doctor, when we go for our, for her six month checkup, uh-huh. she would tell me, he "says uh, Don, whatever you're doing for your mom, keep doing it." Okay. She's as lucid 
as anybody her age that I've ever seen. Wow, that's beautiful. And so, and so there's more. See, it's about it's about brain movement. Yes, you know, you yeah. talk about movement. You know, use the word movement in your in in your in your organization. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, the fiscal movement. We need cognitive movement. Yes. Right, and so th- th- this is what we're really hammering hard here. Right. That there's really three parts of this, as I see it. Yep. Th- there's there's really nutrition. We we need to eat well. Okay. Physical, the heart, lungs, and so forth, and cognitive. Yeah. I think that kind of completes mm-hmm. and makes it makes the program more holistic, is it? I think so, and I think that's probably a piece that's missing from a. Uh, from probably the overwhelming majority of the aging population. So okay. Eddie Valentine came at Revolution, came up with our name Parkinson's in Motion yeah. because he's the one that keeps us moving. Mm-hmm. And now we've got this this yeah. picture of it. And the night that Dawn came to, to uh, visit our group the first time, we had a nutritionist from Baptist in Lexington mm-hmm. who, uh, she was an older lady, but her father had died with Parkinson's. She'd cared for him, but she was an expert in nutrition. She's the best I've ever heard. Wow. So we're trying to work it all. I love it because it's holistic. <laughs> and you would, I mean, you can't really say, okay, the physical is more important than the nutritional, but they work together and the cognitive is huge in this, I yeah. would think, because yeah. not everybody is at the same level physically or they may have debilitating things that they can't keep up with uh, all the motion that they need need to do physically. But if they can keep their mind sharp, that's a big piece yeah. for see, somebody. See, this lady was imparting information, mm-hmm. what you should eat and what you shouldn't right. eat. Right, right. See, it sounds like I'm imparting information, but see, I'm in a different ball game. Okay. I want I want to think of this as activity. Even, okay. Even though the the information you're going to learn from this activity is a is a free, is a bonus. Mm-hmm. So you're going to, you're going to become more knowledgeable in math. But the main reason I'm there is to is for activity. Okay. Activity of the brain. Right. And all the doctors will tell you all the the brain related doctors will tell you you can rewire your brain you you've Mm -hmm. had some brain damage from something you can work to rewire that brain an old dog can learn nutrients yes absolutely yes that's great i think that's what i said to you the first day i was there (laughs) (laughs) and your mother is just a a great example oh oh yes did you do math with your mother did you do stuff like that? No, it, it, it was in the same okay. it was in the same ball game. I didn't teach her math, but it, it was the same thinking of I wanted to go back and think about what she has done today and right. what she's doing today okay. that relates to yesterday and right. and, and just keep her active. Okay. Well that's where the Jane piece comes in a lot and I think you know, I'm thinking of Deb, Debbie Gilbert with uh I I uh, what do you call it? I got I got communities and uh uh, you know, and I'm part of that aging population that, you know, I want to tap into the things. And I was thinking about my mother. She's 90 now. What can I go home with? I was thinking, is Don going to get me up to where he's going to help me to teach my mother math? And then I thought, she's not going to be into that. No. But we can do things together, and we do. Um, it's funny. Uh, we will watch a mystery or something like that on TV. And we'll try to figure things out as we go. And you talk about it. And we talk about it. And we process through talking about mm-hmm. it. That's the whole deal with myself. But, I'm, you know, and my mother, uh, all this kind of comes together. And I love the whole connectedness of it, uh, the physical, you know, the nutritional, the, the cognitive and all that. Jane, you're doing a good job over there. Thank you. You really are. Thank you. I can't believe how active you are and how much in motion you are just all the time. Well, you know, I recently, um, I've always watched what I ate, but I've recently been pretty strict about getting rid of the meat and dairy because that can can interfere with your Parkinson's medication. Okay. I've put down any walking devices I even use early in the morning and late at night. I don't even use those anymore. So that's made a huge difference. It's a... But a lot of people don't want to go that route. They don't right. want to cut out their meat and their dairy. Yeah, and and it's it's um, you know your situation is different. You know, 
than many, but uh, I noticed that too when we eat uh, sometimes before lunch and stuff. You're not, you don't do gluten either, do you? Don't do gluten. That's and that's, that's a, a big celiac deal. thing. Okay. But yeah. See, Don, you scared us last week. I thought I know it's an aside, but I thought I hope Don didn't get COVID or something crazy. But you didn't. You're back in the saddle, man. You you're 100 percent this week compared to last week. Oh, oh yes, yeah. yes. I still have little nasal problems because of. I've had I've gone through this. Uh, uh, I guess um, I, I, I guess you might say I've got some allergies. You yeah. know, but but uh, well, you're in allergy purgatory here where we live. It's just they just <laughs> yeah, everywhere. Yeah, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. But but get, getting back to Jane yeah. though, what 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 a nice person to have behind your yes, behind absolutely. your push, and having her as your mouthpiece as your driving mm-hmm. force. What what a, what a leader she you is! You guys speak the same language. Don't well, you? and I can't believe the way God constantly connects, and and if you just if you just sit back and let Him do it, and it's not a surprise. It's right. not, I don't even surprised by it anymore. I'm just mm-hmm. grateful and thankful. Yeah, because He's always just putting things in place. Right. See, see, I, I'm I'm not just giving here. I'm re- I'm receiving. See, yeah. I, I'm I'm becoming more Parkinson's aware. Uh huh. And so uh, that's. Uh, that that has really helped me. Me too. Uh, it, it has me too, and and uh, that that kind of you know begs the question, Jane. If people are interested in contacting you and connecting, how do they do that? They, there's people around here that are listening today that they don't know what their resources are. They can go to, to our they can go to our Parkinson's in Motion website. Okay, and um, that how to connect and send and that is in Parkinson's in Motion dot org. org. Okay. Parkinsonsinmotion.org. Right. right, okay. And uh, th- we want to keep in mind the 29th is coming up. And uh, the, uh, what are we going to call that? What do you call that? Well, got a it's, name. it's a 5K run right, walk yeah. for all. We should have come up with a better name, but no, it's our fine. first year and we're working hard. Right. And anybody who cool. wants to sponsor our run is more than welcome to mm. do so. We'll get right with you. But go to Parkinson. At parkinsonsinmotion.org and find out everything you need to know about that. How about you, Don? Do you have a website? We yeah, yes, go. it's clearmath.org. Clearmath.org. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, and this is changing so fast, I think one year the next, it's out of, out of date already because okay. I, I, I feel like I'm getting better at, at what I do. Yeah. You know, I, I just feel like that I haven't done my best lesson. I hope, I hope that's on my tombstone. That's amazing that you say that because you're <laughs> you you do some good lessons but you're you're still trying to be better yes. be better at what you do yes all right let me ask you this don i know this is this is terrible what i'm going to do <laughs> how old are you well you I'm, have to tell us do i have to tell you you don't have to well it's just a number you know i'm in math so it's just it's just it's just a number just say okay you don't have to tell me he that doesn't care to no, he doesn't I care. Don't care i thought it was like you better not ask me that man i'm 83 83 I'll be 84 yeah. in August. Right, yeah. But I still have the Man, heart. Man, sharp. Well, yeah. the reason, reason I'm, see, I, I'm engaged. Yeah. And, and, and see, I probably receive as much from my math tutoring when I'm working with Jane. I'm probably receiving more than she's receiving. Well, you're giving and we're receiving. If I if you had asked me five years ago if this is going to work out to where we'll go further with this, uh-huh. I would have said that's too much. But I know what God does. I've watched him. Wow. Hey, it's been great. This has been Frankly Speaking, your host, Marty Huff. Here's tune in next week. Same time, same station.